Hello and welcome to the Atas channel. Today, our invited guest, co-founder of Bico Trading School and an official partner of Atas, Yuri Bishko, will be hosting the webinar. He will explain why trading is worth the effort and the reasons behind frequent failures among beginners. He will also provide insights into the analysis tool known as Delta and even share some secrets from his school. As usual, we will conclude with a review of trading examples and answers to your questions. Also, we would like to remind <coughs> you that you can practice a new strategy on the Atas platform for free. Download the platform using the link provided in the description if you haven't installed it yet. So let's get started. Uh, hello, uh, hello everyone. Hello, folks. Uh, uh, happy to see you here. Uh, my name is Yuri Bishko, and we start our masterclass. Uh, today's topic will, will be about uh, powerful trading strategies that you can use with Delta, how to trade it. I will share with you uh, a lot of my uh, trades examples, uh, like uh, this tra uh, This session will be purely practical. Many of you maybe saw my tutorials about the task platforms because during previous year, I recorded nearly 20 videos about it. Uh, that's why we decided with uh, Atas to make this cooperation to make really cool stuff for you. Uh, at this moment, uh, uh, share with me in the comments uh, about audio quality, video quality, and after that, we're going to start. Uh, today's lesson will be about uh, scalping trading strategy for a uh, five minutes time frame. It will be uh, really uh, fast execution, how to trade and catch, uh, catch exactly reversal of the market. Uh, this uh, a lesson will be based on Delta indicators uh, Atas, uh, uh, Atas uh, told today and uh, uh, we'll cover in deeply how it works. Scalping trading strategy. Uh, in Ukraine we call that strategy knife uh, catching and within a few seconds you will understand it. Okay. Uh, uh, this strategy will be about uh, it will be a strategy on uh, smaller time frames how you exactly catch a market reversal okay let's go deeply <clears throat> uh, this stuff will work the best uh, on the futures market and crypto market because you have access to uh, delta indicator and uh, let me explain to you how uh, the stuff works and what's the main logic uh, when we trade this pattern uh, we need uh, three major things to trade it it is key area, impulse and big delta. We will dive deeply about each of these topics within a few, few minutes. I just want to show to you an uh, example how this played out. Uh, it will be example of my trades. I will use special uh, statistics service, but I will show you how we exactly took trades. Like, uh, let's cover uh, this example. When I took a trade on Bitcoin Cash, uh, we made 700 USD on this trade. And uh, uh, what was the major logic here? Uh, what's the major logic and how we exactly found this uh, point of reversal. Uh, major logic, uh, as I told you uh, in these points, uh, it is one to three steps, how to find exactly a reversal uh, of an asset. Uh, it is, you need key area, you need impulse and you need big delta. Uh, do you understand uh, why this stuff is important together and what they create? Share with me in the comments at this moment. And uh, while you're writing, I would like to show you a few words about logic, how market works. Let's cover deeply. And after that, you understand that pattern. Major idea of uh, knife catching, guys, it is to find liquidation. Uh, those of you that trade futures market, you understand uh, that there are things that cause liquidation. And uh, major idea to trade knife catching you find the place where exactly you can see that someone got liquidated or areas of big liquidations and quite often you will see how price really beautifully after that make a reversal pullback or decent range that's the reason why i showed to you this stuff and why we uh, calculate this stuff together it is about uh, key area why key area is super important for us because it is a place, what's the logic? There are some places where people hide their stop losses, like uh, area of uh, cascade stop losses. When price approach to those stop losses really impulsively, they got liquidated. And uh, there are a saying that many of you uh, heard maybe, 
it is a cas cascade liquidation. When cascade liquidation appears, it, what this stuff means? Price came to some area, they uh, hit stop losses. Stop losses move price higher. Uh, they moved stop loss higher, it moves to new stop losses. And because of that, they're really fast impulse. And uh, why here is super important to see big delta? Uh, delta, it is a difference between market buy and sell order. Let me uh, explain to you really shortly, super shortly, what delta means. Uh, imagine uh, you uh, open buy market order, you press buy market. In that case, delta will go up. If you on your platform press sell market order, delta will go down. Imagine a situation. Let's go to uh, a trade that I showed to you here. Uh, as remember, I told you that this uh, stream will be practical and we are going to cover many examples. And let's cover all of them. And uh, uh, like here, let's uh, analyze. As you can see, guys, it is uh, Atas data. It is, guys, it is Atas data, <clears throat> 15 minute time frame. And delta on this coin was nearly 30 thousand contracts while price rose up so much just tell me what a person with normal mind would buy after such significant rise on this screen it looks even better it is one minute time frame as you can see guys tell me at this moment, share with me in the chat. Who would buy after such significant rise? People that, for example, open short positions. Imagine you open short positions in the middle of this range and price went to your stop loss. To get out from short position, what should you do? Just technically. Dump retail, Milko. <laughs> agree <laughs> Karsten not me <laughs> guys yes <laughs> I agree with that like after significant movement will uh, hear who will buy first some of you wrote dump retails I agree let's call them dump retails and second yes short sellers to get out from their position, they forced to buy back. Like if you open Atas platform, uh, you open Atas platform and when you open DOM and like uh, live transactions, you will see always when people, for example, open short position here to get out from their short, they forced to buy back. And because of that, Delta will change and add together all of this stuff. And at this moment, remember, I showed you here. I show to you this part once more at this moment when you will add all these three topics together key area impulse and big delta you'll understand that you can predict area of liquidations with big possibility because it's super easy to understand that uh, you can build any structure if you trade uh, uh, futures, if you trade the S&P, if you trade crypto. You, I think you would understand that uh, like above this level, someone would set stop losses. And if price come here with impulse and especially uh, price rose a lot, quite often there would be significant pullback. And if the spike of Delta. There are also another indicators that you will need to use, for example, open interest. If there would be a drop of open interest, that would be clear signal of liquidations. But uh, on some markets, you won't have access to this data. And that's example for you, how you took a trade. Because we saw like this coin, price were at important level. A lot of people that uh, built short position here, I think you would agree with me. Uh, many of them forced to get out because uh, uh, they forced to buy back. And because of that, we have such significant delta exactly after such big moment. And you can see uh, here in this case what they did. They did beautiful nearly 4% pullback. Let's go to uh, other examples and uh, understand uh, all of this stuff. Uh, first, to understand, uh, like Martin Rand asked a question. How, uh, but tell me how to understand it is a top. 
uh, to get it together, you need several things. First, you need key area. Uh, after that, you need big delta. And after that, you need impulse. In that case, as you will see that quite often it will be a reversal points. I will show to you many example uh, on the crypto market, especially. Uh, like this example, big delta. BTC, Bitcoin, 15 minutes time frame. Price rose quite a while. And here you, you face such impulse. Tell me who would buy here after significant rise. Let's open uh, the BTC exactly here in ATAS. Let's go to this example for you. Uh, uh, you need to understand that market goes from liquidity to liquidity. How, how the stuff understands? For example, if I would like to buy, imagine a situation at this moment, I would like to buy uh, like uh, 1000 BTC, 1000 BTC contracts. If I would need to buy 1000 BTC contracts, uh, that would mean that would mean my friends someone must sell it to me yes always from liquidity to liquidity it is the only one way to create value that's it that's how it works uh let me start present oh, uh, this one okay good at this moment many of you can see uh, uh like big delta have a look on uh, BTC chart. Let's go uh, and open this BTC chart. In many of you, uh, what you will see with significant delta spikes. At this moment, it is uh, uh, Bitcoin, Binance futures uh, on a task connected. Uh, 30 minute time frame. Uh, have a look on uh, these screenshots and uh, have a look on this situation. Quite often, what you will see when significant delta appears, uh, price or create some area of a range or price make reversal or uh, price make a reversal even here for example have a look how price uh, make for example reversal point have a look on this significant delta price started pumping uh, you should understand one important stuff if i would like to buy one btc someone must sell it to me if i would like to sell one btc someone must buy it for me that's why market will always go from liquidity to liquidity and what I showed to you is this strategy, uh, knife catching. What the strategy means? It means that some people, imagine people that open short positions in the middle of this range. Or imagine people that open short position here, while BTC did quite significant rise. Imagine what this situation. People build short positions. And where do they hide their stop losses? Of course, they would hide, uh, hide their stop losses higher in this area, like it would be some area. And quite often, market maker would move price higher to take their stop losses, because in that case, they forced to buy back their position. And in that case, market maker can use their stop losses as opportunity to close its long or open new short. And this process will go on forever and endless time. That's why this stuff and knife catching, how it works, what's the major logic? Major logic, price must go into area of significant liquidity, area where people hide their stop losses. And based on delta, you can see exactly that their stop losses is taken. Let's come back to my presentation. Like on this example, how it was clearly that stop losses was taken. Why I showed to you one to three strategy. Why I showed you key area, impulse and big delta. Because all of them together shows to you that with bigger possibility stop loss is taken and that would be a reversal. Within a few seconds, we will take a task and we'll, and we'll analyze many examples. And you will see uh, based on those many examples, how prices took. Like it is my screenshot from uh, Bybit where exactly I took a trade. Have a look on this example. It was a trade that I took several days ago. Uh, have a look, guys. Uh, what was exactly execution here? It was, uh, uh, by the way, I did I took this trade during live trading session. Uh, what was the major stuff? Have a look. Bitcoin Cash, 
did really significant impulse, 7%. Uh, during that time, Delta were insanely big. What was the Delta? Delta were several thousand. If you can find that place, it was uh, 16 uh, of uh, October. 16 of October, let's open Bitcoin Cash and show it to you. Bitcoin Cash. 16 of October, 55 days. Let's open 15 minutes. We exactly will get access to the data. And after that, we will go to Atas and we'll show to you many other examples how this stuff works. 16 of October. Few seconds. I will need to load this data. At this moment, uh, guys, at this moment, mm. eighteen of October. Ah, this one. Look at, at this example. Uh, our trade were taken here, exactly on this uh, on this screenshot. Uh, my entry point was exactly at 246. 246. This red stuff, it is entry, my entry point. Write class into the chat if you uh, see everything well. It was exactly entry point. What was the major reason here, guys? Price creates a significant impulse. Delta in a moment, 29,000. 29,000 with such significant impulse. And you think some wise people after such significant rise, tell me, uh, would market make a buy after such significant rise? It's not like it's stupid. And when after such significant impulse appears significant delta, have a look what happens. Price make massive pullback. Because there were really uh, two important stuff. First, let me show to you. Price exactly were close to higher high. Big liquidation happens because significant delta appears with massive impulse. That's how we take it. One, two, three. Let's open recent uh, examples uh, with Bitcoin. Delta and MICD histogram work the same. I'm confused. Uh, my friend, <laughs> Delta and MICD is completely different stuff. What you? Uh, what are you talking? Uh, have a look. Uh, let's uh, uh, cover uh, previous uh, situation with BTC. Previous examples. Uh, let me show to you several plans that I traded few days ago, and have a plan uh, with my team. Have a look at this example. BTC did significant impulse and after big delta, price make uh, quite often high high and after that reverse. Let's come here. Uh, let's come friends. Uh, uh, at this moment, let's come uh, to other examples. Let's open this example. What was the trade here? Ah, uh, this trade, it was maybe one of the, uh, the greatest trades, uh, examples uh, that I uh, traded during the last uh, several weeks. Uh, when I told you, uh, let me summarize why key area is super important. Uh, those of you that trade, especially crypto market, you will understand that after significant rise, especially when you have quite big impulse, uh, price often create a range environment. And uh, here it was an example for you when we took a trade uh, on uh, Solana, uh, when Solana did higher high and have a look what happened uh, exactly here. Uh, price creates such beautiful impulse for several, several percent and Delta on Binance were 418,000 and Delta on uh, Bybit were 480. On Bybit here, Delta were even bigger. Tell me what happened here, like based on this screenshot, just tell me what happened here. Do you think some people would buy uh, would buy here? Do you think uh, market banker would buy here? This stuff, this place with bigger possibility, 
A lot of people that build short in the middle of this range, their stop losses were taken. Uh, guys, uh, I read many of your questions at this moment. I can understand you completely. Good. How do you know how much delta is needed to take the trade? Uh, uh, how much uh, delta uh, we need? Uh, uh, it just based uh, on a history. For example, you trade some instrument, you trade crypto Solana. And when you trade this instrument for a while, at this moment, I understand that uh, 300,000 from 300 to 400,000, it's good enough uh, on Solana. Uh, if Solana reached some important area, it's really good place when you can start take trades from Delta. But once more, this stuff won't work everywhere. There must be proper area. Once more, remember for a start, I wrote to you, there must be first key area, second impulse, impulse, and third delta. When all of this stuff together, only in that case, it will work together. This trade example for you on Solana, it was maybe one of the best. Why? It was really the best. Because Solana rose so many percent without any pullback. Have a look here. 31% rose without any pullback. After that, have a look on this impulse movement. Those of you who long enough in the market, you understand when price create impulse movements, quite often it's a signal that cycle is ended and it is good areas to find for reversal areas. And above such areas, a lot of people that build short in the middle of this hide their stop losses. Uh, like basically this knife catching, it is a strategy when you take trades after stop loss hunts. That's it. Yes, guys, it is trades after stop loss hunts, but it must be in proper areas. That's it. <clears throat> and uh, on this example, what happened? Those people that built uh, built uh, their position in the middle of a range, stop losses of short sellers taken. Price took stop losses of short sellers several times, and quite often. It is area where market maker can build short position. And after that, you will see that market maker would move uh, price into opposite direction to uh, make profit action. And you can see from that area, Solana did a reversal from that area by 14%. Yes, trend continue after that. But guys, 14%, I think it's really good result. That's why once more it is key area, impulse and delta, three things that we need together. Uh, let's dive deeply about each of this topic to understand for you how you can take such trades in the future. Write plus at this moment into a chat if you would like me to dive deeply into each of this key area, impulse and big delta. I would read uh, uh, your comments at this moment, guys. Delta is a force between buyers and sellers, yes. Uh, how can we use a new strategy in Vivatas? Please, if you explain, uh, please. Uh, uh. Problem with Delta is that it includes market position and limit position. Uh, you uh, you can't uh, differentiate. Uh, Eduardo, I agree with you. Uh, Eduardo, that's that's why you uh, use together additionally key area and impulse because impulse uh, it is a signal that stop losses were taken because. Uh, Mm. why it's super important to have impulse how many of you understand uh, why impulse is important when you trade uh, this strategy right plus at this moment guys and right minus if you don't understand this is a, a great looking back i can show you million other ways uh, too but how can you spot this with, with light data and do what you uh, look for exa exactly mike sara Mike, Sarah, I do not show you uh, a stuff that I didn't trade. At this moment, I show to you my real trades. It is Solana trades that I took 
I made 5.6%. Uh, risk reward was appro approximately 1 to 6. I share with you my real trades because I traded it and I remember this situation. I agree with you that it is so beautiful to look at history. But in reality, in reality, there must be a lot of stuff together. Okay. Let's explain to you guys uh, uh, each of this topic uh, deeply. Once more, let's uh, dive deeply to each of this topic, key area. What is a key area? Key area, it is impart, important zone or big volume profile area. What I mean by big volume profile area? Let me show to you uh, this area that I mentioned with my team several days ago about BOC. Like with my team several days ago, I mentioned uh, when BTC were here, I built a trading plan and uh, my major, like there were several key levels where we decided to trade. Uh, key area at this moment, what's key area? Uh, it is significant POC that you can find in Atas. Significant POC. Why significant POC really matters? Uh, because uh, a lot of people here build their position and they will react when price re uh, retests this area, many of these people here will close the entries at break even. Some of them would add additional volume. Is it is this stuff understandable? Uh, about big delta, like key area, it is significant PUC area, and next it is important area of support and resistance, uh, because. Just statistically, just by psych psychologically, guys, a lot of people hide their stop losses above or below some important levels. Like uh, at this moment on BTC, uh, like let's go to BTC for some like one hour time frame. Where, just ask yourself a question: Where, like a lot of people. Uh, they took a trade, uh, for example, in this range, where do they hide their stop losses? Many of them hide their stop losses above a range. That was always the stuff. And when you open bigger time frame, for example, on BTC, you always will see the price moves often from significant uh, areas or from uh, big volume profiles. Let's dive deeply into that stuff. Like here, have a look, price took these levels, did significant pullback. Price did this higher high of this key level, after that made significant pullback. After that here, have a look, price retested significant POC, bounced from it. After that, have a look, price retested this major POC. And have a look here, significant delta appeared exactly at this POC. And what BTC did, massive pullback. Sometimes there would be breakout, as you can see. Have a look here. Again, important level, what price did, significant pullback. Like this uh, process will be endless. From endless time, price will move from key areas because in those key areas, uh, there are a lot of liquidity, like this POC. Like at this moment, a lot of people hide their stop losses above this high. That's area of big deltas. Or here, have a look on this example. If you go uh, into lower time frame, what you will see how price so many times took higher high or lower low here. Why? Or here, have a look, lower low, lower low pullback, lower low pullback. Why this stuff happens? Because it is area of liquidity. At this moment, share with me, is it, guys, share with me at this moment, is it easier with key area at this moment? Key area, it is uh, a place where a price would make a reversal, often. Like, uh, let's go to Ethereum example. Let's uh, do like this for our uh, time frame. On bigger time frame, key areas you always analyze on a bigger time frame. Let me finish with this one because. Uh, Oh my god. At this moment, bigger, uh, I think bigger activities, that's why my uh, 
because that's why Atas is not responding. Uh, okay, let's open maybe. Maybe it's because of uh, Binance uh, does not give. Uh, ah, it is Binance lagging. Bybit works really good. Okay, once more, let me explain to you what's a key area and summarize for this. A key area, it is a place where a price would make uh, the bigger possibility reversal or a stop. Example for you of a key areas like this one. Uh, it is a high of a range. A lot of people hide stop losses, quite often price uh, bounce from it. Again, here, range border, price bounce. Again, higher high, price bounce. Uh, here, price, as you can see, new range. After that, uh, uh, here new high, here new low from which price would bounce with bigger possibility. Uh, because a lot of people hide stop losses there and for market it's really cool and awesome to bounce from. That's it. Let's uh, uh, finish with, once more, let's finish with uh, impulse. What impulse means? Uh, what impulse means? To trade this pattern, you need to understand each of this uh, topic together. What this impulse means. Let's example for you this impulse. Like this impulse. Let's cover this impulse. What this impulse mean? With uh, such significant delta. It means that price in some area come to this level, for example. And how it works. How this stuff works. Uh, price come to this level. And hit stop losses of some people. Stop losses taking. After that, price moves to another level. New stop losses taken. After that, price moves to another level. And quite often you will see such really fast poof, skidish, like in Panda Kung Fu. That's a signal of liquidations. And quite often after that, you will see massive pullback. Let's open. It's Bitcoin Cash. Last time, uh, really beautiful liquidations were clearly on uh, Ripple. It was really uh, very clearly to see uh, beautiful liquidations on Ripple. Oh, like this example, guys. Have a look. What do you think uh, about this impulse movement? Was it because some people decided to buy or it was because uh, there were a big liquidation. Share with me in the chat. What do you think? Can price of instrument change by 4% during 10 minutes so fast? Let's add more data and, and cover some more practical and uh, real, -time uh, real time examples. Okay, let me reply to sometimes I see big red delta and price bounce out there and it does not. Uh, why is it? Uh, because once more, as I told you, uh, it must be in a proper place, because if you look for delta in the middle of a range, in the middle of nothing, uh, that stuff won't help you. Significant delta must appear uh, in a proper place. Uh, let's. This one. What I mean by proper place, uh, like at this moment, imagine a situation at this moment, uh, we have this important level and price at this moment makes significant uh, impulse into this area. That would be really cool place for looking reversal. Why? Uh, because all people in the middle of this range that build like long position, they will force to get out by stop losses. And when you close your long, you're forced to sell. It's super easy. When you build long position, let me change another. If you build long position, to get out from your long, you must sell. By the way, example for you here. Have a look what happened here. Price did this really fast impulse and have a look on this massive fast rise. Because what? They did what they needed they did what they needed and if you open lower time frame let's open like a five minute time frame and look at that uh, 
at uh, that significant drop what happened exactly there how fast it happened have a look have a look on this drop this drop uh, that happened two days ago four percent drop in five minutes candle do you think this stuff this stuff happened because some people decided to open a short position in a moment this four percent movement why it happened how many of you understand why this four percent movement down happened right plus and minus because we need to understand this stuff 100 percent Uh, to s simplify this drop are uh, imbalances uh, my friend it's so of course it is imbalanced but what's the uh, nature of, of it what's the reason that cause it i would say i would say major reason why uh, this moment this significant drop happened especially here and a massive delta appeared exactly at bottom it's really super simple guys super simple reasons that I mentioned to you so many times here in the middle of a range a lot of people build long positions and on a market as we discussed there one law only one law price moves from liquidity to liquidity and people that build uh, like if retails build long position from other side, institutionals can build short positions here. And when they move price down, a lot of people that were in a loan, they forced to get out because stop losses is taken. And when you close your loan, what happens? Share with me in the comments. What happens when you close your loan? When you close your loan, you force to sell. And what happens if you are not alone? What happens if you sell here? You are not alone, but with you and other million people, millions. What happens with your position? If with you sell, yes, close loan market sell. That's why how it works. A lot of people. This stuff is super easy. A lot of people that build long positions here, they force to get out and they sell. And how it works, price come to this level for a start and price, uh, some people close, for example, 100 Ethereum. Because of that, they move a price lower uh, and activate new stop losses. After that, new stop losses, new stop losses, new stop losses, new stop losses, and it calls cascade liquidation that's why they call it cas cascade liquidation because this stuff happens so fast and after cascade liquidation it is a goal that market maker have to take liquidity that's pure liquidity and after that you always will see like in most cases in 90 percent cases you will see pullback or price in worst case scenario you would see price start ranging uh, and only after that continue movement after significant delta you rarely will find a place when price uh, continue a move have a look on this example like this uh, this examples when they pumped ethereum have a look on this delta what they did pull back this significant delta pull back this significant delta really small pullback and continue like uh, here significant delta what they did significant delta they started this ranging that's example for you that in most cases after significant delta spikes they do something this stuff only doesn't work if it happens in the middle of a range as you can see here because here is no stop losses
And have a look on this uh, significant delta, 30,000 on 10 minutes time frame. And what they did after that? They moved price so, uh, so much to another significant delta. To take stop losses of all of these people that build short positions. And this process will be endless, guys, endless. That's why significant delta, for you, it will be a good place when it works. Sometimes it would not give you a significant movement like this move. By the way, yesterday uh, I traded. Uh, let me open for you. Yesterday, guys, uh, by the way, I traded uh, Ethereum uh, from that significant delta here. I made a mistake, moved stop loss into break even too fast uh, here. My position was uh, uh, I made, uh, I traded 100k uh, position size was. Uh, I moved stop loss into break even too fast, but uh, in the end, as you can see, they did this beautiful movement. 1.5 or 1.7 percent from my entry point, like one point, uh, nearly 1.5 percent. That's I. Uh, that's why I tell you uh, that this delta must be in a proper zone. When this delta reach proper area, it works way bad. Example for you with BTC. Let's go and cover uh, this BTC example. Now let's go 55. Arash, uh, please explain passive and uh, active orders. My friend, uh, not today, because uh, uh, let me explain to you about this uh, uh, knife catching, because uh, uh, if I would start explaining to you other topics, uh, it's it, it would be not good. I need for you, for all of you to understand this one. And only after that we can go to other top. Okay, let me. Okay, have a look on this POC. Like this POC and significant delta. Like in this case, you can see significant delta played out. Here, have a look, significant delta. And after that price did higher high and after that only made a reversal like here have a look significant delta what price did reversal significant delta price did pull back value well, area high sometimes uh, uh, like significant delta btc did deep pull back like uh, we can go deeply into history and you will see that this stuff once more would work only in a proper areas Okay. Mm. Uh, pull back from POC. Why doesn't it drop forever? Uh, uh, drop forever than a task trading platform. Please explain. Uh, yeah, cascade. Yes, cascade. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's ask uh, some of your questions uh, while i would like prepare for you some additional examples uh, of these trades once more i prepared for you some additional examples uh, of this uh, all of this stuff uh, have a look uh, for you uh, another example on uh, bitcoin cash uh, it is trades that i did i will show to you have a look price retested beautiful poc significant moment and have a look here on lower time frame it's uh, open inside it was my trade on bitcoin cash as you, as you can see i will show to you a few more examples and uh, will reply to your questions and that would be the end of this uh, master class you can see here price reach important areas that i mentioned for you here and in a moment uh, in a moment as you can see price did this significant impulse and delta reached twenty-seven thousand. As you can see, previous delta, previous delta, that 
wasn't at key area did nothing. Only at this important area, first delta stopped and created this range. And the next one only made a reversal. That's why I show to you it is not a some holy grail. It, it just for you to understand that it would work really well in good areas. And have a look. After that, they did additional higher high with significant delta, but it wasn't my working time. It was, it was on another day. I didn't trade the next situation, and it was exactly area when price <laughs> reversed and did significant drop, as you can see. This stuff, as you can see, works really cool when you have powerful trend. Let me show to you some other example. It is uh, uh, this. Uh, it is a trade of my uh, of my colleague. As you can see, important range border. Sometimes uh, market becomes super rangy, and in range border, this stuff appears. Some people call that part an SVP. But uh, Delta here were 30,000, price did higher high and after that this beautiful drop uh, by 4.2%. Uh, another example. Another example, let me show to you a few examples when it won't play out really well. Uh, because what I show to you, it is my real trades. I don't show to you uh, some theories that would never work. I want you to understand uh, this stuff. Example for you again. As I told you, one, two, three, key area above this range, impulse, beautiful impulse, significant delta. What was significant delta here? Delta in a moment, 17K. But here was a problem, as you can see, I didn't move stop loss into, uh, I didn't close. Uh, sometimes your targets must be, must be lower, as you can see. Sometimes your target must be not big because if I would have a lower target, I would take uh, this beautiful drop. This stuff super for scalping, guys. For reversal, you need uh, other uh, areas. As an example, as a bad example, uh, when this stuff didn't play out really well, uh, have a look. As I told you, one, two, three. First, key area. We have key area. Two, impulse. We have impulse. Three, significant delta. What delta was here? Delta was 25,000 uh, on five minute time frame. But here I did a mistake uh, because, uh, uh, again, I moved stop loss into break even here too fast. As you can see, my trade closed with break even, approximately this one. As you can see, what price did? Re high. And uh, if I would reopen a trade after higher high, have a look what price did. Price dropped uh, from that area. How much? How much? 6%. With stop loss 1%, it is 1 to 6 risk reward. Uh, let's go as an example. By the way, this one uh, I took during live trading session because uh, Quite often on our YouTube channel, I do live trading sessions. Have a look. And when some of you tells me how you understand that that would be a reversal, have a look. It was a real trade. It wasn't some shit. This trade were taken like 50k uh, position size, something like that. What we had? What we had here? What we had here? Is it a key area? Of course it is a key area because price retested all of this area of, uh, where this drop happened. Higher high. Price did higher high of this local range. Price did impulse on lower time frame. Low local impulse. Have a look. If you open lower time frame, you can see five minute candle. All this volume happened in five minute candle. I did mistake here. I moved again stop loss into break even uh, too fast. And have a look on this significant delta. 30,000 on five minute time frame. 30,000. And it was exactly a reversal point. That's why, once more summary for you. One, two, three. One, key area. Key area. Two, impulse. Three, 
Big Delta. Only when you have this free together, you can trade such trades, reversal trades. That's it. Okay, let's <clears throat> let's reply to your questions, guys. Uh, what we do at this moment? Because uh, I have a lot of other examples, as you can see, I prepared many examples, and all of them, all of these trades, only on real account, on real money. In some cases, I made 500, in some cases, 1,000, in some cases, I lost, like, I have many different examples. But if you want to make money with this strategy, don't be greedy. Targets against a trend must be smaller. And this stuff works really better when you have range market. That's it. Uh, okay, let's reply. Uh, at this moment, as I told you, I will reply to 10 of your questions, and that would be the end. Uh, let's. Uh, Milko uh, trends. Not that fast enough. Every day I open one workspace with 10 charts, and it lags uh, when I select a lot. Oh my God. What is your entry to, uh, the close of one uh, one minute candle? Mooney K. Uh, Mooney K. Uh, by the way, you uh, you ask really good question. Uh, what can be uh, your entry? How you can take a trade? <coughs> right plus uh, right plus into a chat if you would like me explain to you exactly how you take a trade. And friends, remember at this moment to push like on this uh, uh, stream and subscribe to this platform because uh, Atas team create a lot of content for you that will help you understand all the flow really bad. I know them, that's why they work. Okay, guys, uh, how exactly you can take a trade? First, as, uh, as we discuss, uh, you need key area. Imagine we have some key area here. Uh, sometimes uh, you will see a different uh, scenario. Sometimes you will see a scenario when price, for example, move into that area, accelerate, and here will be only a few seconds, and after that moves back. Especially on a crypto market, you, know, you can see a lot of this stuff. In this case, honestly, it will be difficult to take a trade. Uh, in this case, you can take a trade uh, only when you see uh, like significant drop within few seconds, when you understand uh, that liquidation happens. But this stuff uh, you can do only when you have experience. And uh, when this uh, liquidation happens, just a key skidish, uh, what you do, you just uh, take market order. And that's it. This one, really hard one. And uh, sometimes price will take your stop loss and you will need to reopen. That's why this one I recommend only for people with better experience. But this stuff can be done only when price reach important area. Second type of entries uh, would be way easier. What you do, uh, you see that price moves into some area and you see big liquidation happens and you wait for five minute candle to be closed. Five minute candle closed. And after that, when you see price make lower low, here you take a trade with stop loss 1%. 1% for a start for you would be good enough. And that's it. This one, honestly, the best one. This one would be really easy for you to trade. I will show to you a few examples. This one really amazing because you uh, have better understanding where market stopped. Because uh, if uh, price already closed, uh, that means volatility would decrease. This one I like the most because it's super easy. And sometimes there would be another one, guys. Sometimes there would be price dropped and price would make lower low, lower low, like two, three, four times. This one really horrible, but from other side, it gives you understanding and it gives you a lot of time to open a trade. Uh, that's why here, with bigger possibility, you will have reopen. What I would do here after like a second, like we have low, we have new low, and after uh, we have third low here, I would also open a trade just with stop loss 1% uh, for a moment. That's it. 
uh, example for you let me show to you example of three uh, of the situations and we uh, three of the situations example first one uh, it is uh, this uh, bitcoin cash this one about bitcoin cash as you can see it is the first scenario one minute candle let's open one minute candle what you would see here a one minute candle or even five minute candle uh, here impulse was so fast that it was really hard to find the place uh, where you would take a trade I waited for uh, liquidity uh, for volatility to decrease and you can see that I uh, first my entry my first attempt for, uh, for entry hit stop loss entry where price moved into my favor it was second entry another example uh, when price uh, did uh, some higher high like second example when i told you one minute candle uh, or five minute candle close this one it was one one minute candle close what i did as you can see i saw that one man one minute candle close and here biggest delta exactly appeared on that one minute candle like here 17k and when price did high high as you can see i took a trade just manually this one as i told you i like the most because you have a lot enough time to take a trade your stop loss would be really good predictable and you will have really awesome plays and uh, and another one it is on ripple this one it is a third one that i showed to you when liquidation happens really fast have a look massive impulse by 4.15 percent delta on ripple were at that time 20 millions that's really a lot uh, that's really a lot and what price did here have a look they did this higher high several times honestly emotionally this one is the hardest because you will be in a position for several hours and you won't know would it played out at this moment honestly i am learning to trade this one patterns because they are really better uh, because what you have a lot of time to reopen and what i did the uh, mistake here i moved stop loss into break even too fast and if i would just set stop loss one percent here they wouldn't take my stop loss and after that have a look ripple dropped from that area 8.5 percent even with stop loss one percent it was really awesome risk risk reward ratio and here i took really good volume in a position as you can see i just worked for uh, exchange in this case uh, to give them okay that's three examples and you need to uh, to trade uh, three of these situations several times to understand exactly how to trade it. Uh, what is the win rate of this strategy? My friend, win rate will depend on a person. Some people will have uh, 40, 50 percent win rate. Some people will have 20 percent win rate. Uh, with risk reward one to five, uh, you need 20 percent win rate uh, to be uh, with uh, nearly break even. That means if you will have uh, at least uh, 40 percent you would make really good money on this stuff uh, that's why sometimes you will see uh, that uh, those areas would be exactly a reversal points uh, that's why like win rate will depends on the person it won't be like every person will have the same a volume profile works better when price is in a range when price is in a trading uh, the distribution is not normal uh, yes i agree with you that's why when price in a range we uh, use only high volume nodes uh, for example when price in a range environment uh, you can use value area high uh, you can use value area low uh, or swing low swing high uh, in those areas you can look for a significant delta and price often would bounce it is in range environment uh, when price in a trend environment uh, you look for significant uh, volume profiles, high volume nodes, and if price retested, uh, you can use it together with Delta as a uh, confirmation for your area. That's it. At this moment, my friends, remember that uh, in a chat, Atas team, 
uh, send to you ebook uh, about uh, my uh, trading strategy remember to download it it's for free and you will understand better about this strategy because uh, remember uh, trading it is a practical skill uh, you need theory and after that you need trade it each of this situation you need to trade several times to understand it to feel it only in that case you'll be able to trade it uh, by your own and uh, that's why download ebook because you will have all of these materials you will understand them how to use it in the future and it costs you nothing uh, impulse uh, impulse because that's how cascade liquidation works uh, because if price moves slowly steadily that means someone push it some aggressive buyer or seller push it you need to understand the uh, a nature of a movement because there could be different movement there could be a liquidation movement and there could be a movement that someone push push a price and when price slowly push it's not uh, good for reversal but when impulse happens why impulse happens because a lot of stop loss at, at the same time try to get out and how it works price came to this level liquidate uh, activate stop losses they go into dome and move price higher again uh, new stop losses activated go into dome and move again higher and that's why it calls cascade effect cascade liquidation because there are a lot of stop losses at the same time and they just phew, like in panda kung fu skidish there must be a skidish after skidish you always see pullback or price start ranging and only after that continue okay friends at this moment i see there is no additional questions uh, uh remember to go to our youtube channel we created a lot of uh, video lessons uh, with what us that will help you understand how to work uh, with this strategy thank you for your time trade it wisely and uh, just bye okay guys I'm yuri finished. thank you again for the webinar and thank you guys for joining us today please don't forget to subscribe to be able to join us next time and give thumbs up if you like our webinars. We'll see you next time at our Atas channel. Have a very nice weekend. Bye. Bye, guys.